Hey everybody, Spencer Jones here, uh, and this is our second video from the Jones and Get Fit live cooking show. Um, we had uh, an interesting show planned for you tonight, and it's going to include a friend of mine, Laura Neeson. Um, we tried shooting this on the Jones and Get Fit page, um, and for some reason it wasn't letting me add her. Um, to this video because she is our special guest as you can see so our special guest Laura Neeson We're gonna try adding her to the show. I sent her a invite So if you're watching how do I get rid of that get it down? All right, so um, Laura if you're able you should be able to accept that request or send one to me and hopefully I can get you to join here Turn up that brightness a little bit so you can see easier um, so the live cooking show this is a show that I do I hope so too uh, Laura this is a live cooking show I do every single week on my uh, Jones and to get fit page on Facebook it's a way for me to share healthy recipes with all of you that are quick easy simple and Laura is on this channel um, she is uh, she is on the show uh, can't bring they can't join a broadcast at this time why not I want to ever join my Hmm. Well, keep trying. If you can see Laura, if we can get you on camera. Not sure why it's not working. But um, the hope is to have her. All right, there's there we go. Let's see and add as guest. And hopefully, hopefully, let's see. Is it gonna work? Oh, it's it was working. Um, so Laura is on this podcast or on the podcast on this live video because she won a Pledge to Shred Challenge. And that's a challenge that I did in a fitness group. Um, basically, for three weeks, you had to do workouts and eat really healthy. It's about focusing on your eating habits. And she was one of the people who won the challenge, and her re reward for winning is being on here. So Laura, add as guest. I'm trying to get you added here. It says adding, adding, adding. Hopefully this works. Um, Laura... Uh, won the challenge and so she's gonna share a healthy recipe with me and all of you It's one of her recipes one of her favorite recipes that she found or she created She's gonna tell us about that hopefully when she gets on and um, We will have some fun cooking and doing all that good stuff and sharing it with you as we're waiting for her to get added here Hopefully it's working. Hopefully hopefully um, We will um, I will upload this onto the Jones to get fit Facebook page So check out that page and also I will have it on the Jones and the Get Fit website, our newly revamped, relaunched website that you should really check out. It is a website that hosts all of our healthy cooking shows, right? It's like a virtual cookbook right there um, at your fingertips, all sub, you know, sub not divided up, you know, segmented into different categories so you can easily find things to cook and make healthy recipes. All of them are generally about a half hour. But in addition to that, they, um, Lord said, uh, it wasn't like you didn't respond to it for whatever reason. So we'll try it again here. Your live viewers. All right. We'll try doing that way. We'll see. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, um, not only on the Jones and get fit.com page website is the healthy recipes, but also all like the live, uh, mini series, not live mini series, the mini series, actually the Kai fishing mini series, Jones and four, wherever. So Louisiana, Jones for Louisiana, inshore jones for peely island right those types of places are on that website so if you get a chance head over to jonesandgetfit.com check it out we have the healthy cooking we have those shows we have oh oh hey, hey at work laura all right yes. how are you doing good 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 well thank you so much for joining us i was just finishing up talking about my website wasting time talking about all that boring stuff but uh oh i'm so happy we got you to work i apologize for the uh inconvenience of technology it's a pain some days that's okay we made it we made it work it took a little delay but we got there exactly. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in now this is laura neeson she won the pledge to shred challenge she was one of the winners of that in our fitness group that we had uh going on and so she's going to share with us how to make this honey chili sauce. Um, from what uh, we were talking about, it sounds really good on chicken, on veggies, things like that. So um, we prepped a little bit for this. Um, so, Laura, why don't we pass it off to you and you share with us um, what, what ingredients it takes, where you found the recipe, and, and we'll start making it together. Okay, let me set the, this camera straight here because I finally got it working. So I found the recipe a lot of years ago in the old P90X book. Nah. Like, 
And it's timing is perfect because we have our awesome group going right now. And it's a recipe I found years ago and I love this sauce. So the ingredients are pretty simple. It's pretty easy to make and it reheats well. So you can make a bunch of it at once, sure. put it in the fridge and reheat it. And that's why I like it a lot. That's awesome. You, you can make it in one, you can make a big batch of it, reheat it, put it on your other, you know, meals and all that stuff. So it's ready for the week. Um, and as I was prepping for the show, I like, you know, I, I made brown rice and then I made quinoa. I'm like, this could be perfect for all week. Now I have a sauce that I could use all week long for this. This is perfect. Yeah. So what ingredients do we make this? You need shallots and you're gonna chop them. Like these are chopped, but if you don't know what a shallot is, it looks like a little tiny onion. So some people don't know what shallots are. So I saved one not chopped. Awesome, thank you for doing um, that. Honey. This one's local, so it's in a big jar. Try to shop local when I can. So you need some honey. And then some sherry vinegar, or I just get the red wine vinegar. Works great. Nice. Some chili powder, because most people have that around their house. And some cumin. Perfect. Uh, what do we got here? Chicken broth. Cup and a half of chicken broth. Cup and a half, all right. A little bit of salt and pepper, pepper, and then I like to just use a pink Himalayan sea salt whenever I can. Himalayan sea salt, so good, so good. I know, that's why I grab it when I can. Cilantro, if you don't want to buy the actual fresh ones that'll wilt within a few days, I like to buy it like this in a tube. You know, I've seen them, Super I've nice. never used them before. Do you, do you like using that kind of um, cilantro and just, um, not veggies, but you know, uh, greens like that? Oh, they're great. Even yeah, I have all different ones in my fridge, and I like them because it's a true teaspoon. If you want a teaspoon, it's a true teaspoon of this too. Oh, that's awesome. It's not like you have to do any math. It's super simple. <laughs> and then in the end, after the cilantro pecans, perfect. That's that's it. It's pretty simple. And then I I pair it with like you said quinoa, toss it on some chicken rice if you like to eat rice. Um, Snap peas, you can just, I mean, they all blend well. So anything that you would basically think of as an Asian style food, this is a healthy sauce to do that. Awesome, I appreciate it. And as people are watching, if you have any questions or anything for me or Laura, um, feel free to comment them below. We'll address them as we're going on through the show. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, or anytime later on on Facebook even, feel free to add comments. Um, I'll be sure to answer them as best as I can. And if Laura is able to sneak in, she'll be able to. Um, Rich, you're watching from Encinitas, California. Awesome. Watching from Sweet. We got California, Illinois represented. Well, let me show you quick. Yeah. Jay is out in Colorado. I saw his name pop up. Oh, that's awesome. How, do you know Rich or Judy? I know Judy and I know Jay. Um, Rich, I'm not sure. He must be one of our... In one of our yeah. Hi guys. Well, hello everyone. I'm Laura. Just make sure I got everything right here with my, with what I have. I have chicken broth. I got a cup and a half of chicken broth. I have chili powder. We have uh, cumin. We have chopped up like three tablespoons or so of chopped pecan, something like that. Um, I got a quarter cup of chopped shallots. Now I hate. Now I'll be honest. I hate saying like quarter cup of like chopped vegetables because I'm going seriously. A quarter cup. How about like a half or a whole one? So to make it easy, a quarter cup of chocolate is like a half of a wall. Unless you're making a bigger portion, then you can use the whole thing. Yeah, no, you're dead on with the half uh, shallot there. Um, okay, let me, uh, um, thank you very much for that. And then sherry vinegar, uh, got that set. Uh, and that's a quarter cup of sherry vinegar. We got, mm, was it two thirds of a cup of honey? Is that right? Yes. Perfect. Now, we did not have any snap peas locally. Um, so I did something that I could grab and that was asparagus. So you're gonna see me make the asparagus as we are also making the thought And in back, we have some quinoa back there, all prepped and cooked. Hi, Elizabeth. She's she's a fellow Beachbody uh, fan. Awesome. Well, welcome, <laughs> welcome. Okay, so Laura, walk us through how to make this thing. We got our they're chopped up. They're set. I'm going to get my um, um, asparagus started here, but walk us through. What do we need to do? 
Spray your pan. All right. Spray it. Super easy, right? And then once you spray your pan, you're going to put your shallots in the pan and cook them until they're a little soft, kind of translucent. translucent. Do you need any kind of special cooking spray for this, or does just like the regular Pam or does olive oil work best or anything like that? Any Anything so it's not going to stick to your pan. Okay. Now, from what I read, we're not cooking that's this long, so you could use an olive oil. Just remember to avoid um, using, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like extra virgin olive oil. You just want regular olive oil if you're using that. Otherwise, canola oil, peanut oil, stuff like that works as well. Yeah, so yeah, and you're basically just going to cook up your shallots. I'll get closer here. Okay. Just put them in the pan and cook them up for, it's just going to be a few minutes, you know, to get them softened. How, how high is our um, stove? I think I missed it. Oh, okay. We've got it on a medium high heat. Medium high, perfect. Yep. And and I got I I did name my stove when I moved in. Her name's Stella because she's uh needed a name. <laughs> I love it. I never named my my stove or appliances for that matter, but I love it. You're like Stella, what's going on, Stella? <laughs> or you're like, oh. Hi, Keith. Thanks for jumping up on. Now, is that just the stove or the oven's name is Stella as well? It's the whole unit. She, you know, we did a, a little online Facebook uh, challenge for people to name her when I moved in because I've never owned a stove like this before. <laughs> that looks like an incredible stove behind you. I'm kind of jealous, to tell you the truth. I, yeah, I always went from like a, an oven and a stove where you could barely fit a cookie sheet in it to this thing. Right, yeah, that looks so I got to name this beauty. So as we're waiting for our shallots to cook, and if people are curious, with my asparagus here that I'm cooking, I have the asparagus on like a, a medium to medium low heat. I sprayed the pan, sprayed the asparagus just with the canola spray. I put a little um, onion powder. I'm going to put just a sprinkle of cumin on it, and then a little bit of chili powder. It's going to go really nice with uh, this sauce on the side. Just in case people are curious. If you're having sugar snap peas, um, green beans, any kind of vegetable with it, um, you can have it plain and put the sauce on it or spice it up a little bit with some of the seasonings you're using for your sauce. It's just going to help it pop even more when you have it for dinner. Um, all right, so we're cooking here. What else we got going on? Okay, so now that it, these are like basically pretty much ready because it only takes a few minutes, you know, what, a minute or two? Was it, was it even that? So next you're going to add your honey and your vinegar to the pan. Now you want, like, if your honey gets crystallized, like this one was, mm -hmm. measure it out and then microwave it for a few seconds and it'll be back to a nice liquid. Hold on. Because as we all do, I think honey mine's crystallized and it was crystallized in there. Let me heat it up quick. We'll be good. Just like it's only taking a few seconds in the microwave, and your honey never really expires. So just remember, you can always reheat it back up. It's one thing I love about honey: it doesn't expire. You're set to go. Uh, just heat it up, warm it up a little bit, and you're good. Yep. So then you're just gonna pour your vinegar and the honey in with the shallots. Oh, this hurts. We're got enough. We're just gonna put the honey in. Spatula to get it out because it's sticky. Yeah, stir it up a little bit. All right, just got my honey in. Hold on, you're, you're faster than I am there. All right, all right. and then we got our um, sherry vinegar in. Hey, Rob. Hey, Lori. We got a lot of uh, Ohioans and Wisconsin people jumping on. Awesome. Well, the best part about these shows is it goes all over the entire world. You are world famous, Laura. Look at this. You want to world famous. So as soon as, then as soon as you catch up on adding your honey and vinegar, you want to add in your spices. So you're going to add in your chili powder, which is a teaspoon. So All right, so a teaspoon of chili powder. Now, for those of you who watch this cooking show regularly on the Jones and Get Fit page, you know I really don't measure things out too well. I'm just one of those, I, yeah, I'm too lazy. So we're going <laughs> to teaspoon. For the ladies that are like antsy to be exact, I'll co I got you covered. <laughs> so we got, then we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of the cumin, it's ground cumin. 
a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. That was about 10 shakes of the chili one. We're going to do about three of cumin shakes of that in there, just so you know for people who don't want to measure and want to be crazy like me. It's this whole guy way. I totally, I understand it. Living and then you can add in, well, add your um, chicken broth, which aim for a fat-free, low-sodium chicken broth. So you, I should add my chicken broth you said right now, is that right? Yeah, add in the chicken broth. So you put in your spices in your chicken broth, and then you're going to want to bring it to a boil. So stir it up, bring it to a boil. Perfect. I'm getting my dirty dishes over there. And this is the part where it'll get boring because you're going to reduce it by half. Oh, man. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for jumping on. Hi, Rich. Yeah, thank you. So many awesome people here watching. That's fantastic. Uh, you love the side by side. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Well, we'll talk about it. I could, we could shout for you if you want. That, that would work. Um, let's see. I'll pick what I and if you want to add in um, your, your way of adding salt and pepper, you can. It's, that's uh, to taste. Hi, Molly. Thanks for jumping on. <laughs> so one thing um, you just said about salt and pepper. Now, I'll add some of that to my recipes, but usually I don't. Um, have, you, have you tried that or either way, or do you find it? I, I've never added it. I've never needed it. This has a, so much flavor. There it is. It's just going to boil, and you're going to reduce it by half. Um, but it has so much flavor, it doesn't need it, but some people like that a little extra bit. So if you want, you have that option to add them. Gotcha. Yeah, and um, the broth I use, I don't know what broth you uh, you used or what our viewers will use when they make this. Mine's not boiling yet. It's working on it. Uh, is this unsalted uh, chicken broth. So, I mean, you can get organic chicken broth. Find the stuff that works for you. Now, I'm, I'm looking at this here, and let's say... Um, we don't put this on chicken, right? Let's say we just put it on veggies. You could almost use, I would imagine, um, a like vegetable stock, right? And make this thing totally vegan if you want it. Absolutely, yeah. Because nice. that would be the only one substitute you'd have to do. And you can make a, a great... And this would be really tasty on tofu. Say that one more time, I'm sorry. If you had to do vegan, you can make it with tofu and it, the, it would be a great flavor. Oh, that would be a great way to uh, to incorporate this as a vegan recipe. I know our, our buddy Lou in our fitness group, he's vegan, and I know my brother-in-law is vegan, that this would be a great way to um, make this recipe work for all of you. So uh, what kind of stove, what kind of stove and oven is Stella, Rich asks? A uh, Viking professional six burner double oven super deluxe thing. You got a fancy one. Came with the house. Came with the house. Stella is fancy. I'm telling you, you are so lucky to have such an awesome stove uh, as Stella there. So while this is cooking, while you got this reducing, which is going to be a bit, that's a great time to make your quinoa if you want to choose that your rice, your veggies, your chicken. The magic of um, Spencer's uh, little video here, it was like, boom, it's already done. The chicken and quinoa got done. <laughs> That's awesome. If you're wondering what is quinoa, right? I love the fact you prepped it. And see, for me, I'm going, all right, I have my chicken almost like fully cooked. It's probably fully cooked now. And then making the asparagus now so that I'm set to go have a, a quick hot meal. The quinoa is going to be a little chilly, but that's okay. It's good cold too. So I'm gonna well I'm gonna take your cue because I have the snap peas. I just have a little bit of water in my pan, and I'm just gonna put those on another burner here and, and cook up the snap peas while we're reducing. Now, do you usually do do you usually make the snap peas uh, cook like that, or do you just have them cold generally? I like them just a little cooked. So they highly, they have uh, a nice little crispness to them too, right. but I like them a little bit cooked. And the thing, what I love about this recipe is kids love it. Oh, I, I can imagine it has a nice um, sweet, but a little kick to it as well. And then, I mean, who doesn't love sugar snap peas anyway? Just a crunch at it when you bite. So good. Yeah. So that's why I usually will do, like I'll eat the quinoa, but they'll eat rice, but they love this sauce. They, you know, but it's a, it's a recipe you can make for the family and it's so good reheated. 
So I know one of my regular viewers um, is down in Texas, uh, Robert. Uh, he loves making recipes with his family and his kids. They usually watch it all together, the shows that is, and then, then make the recipe some point in the week. So, Robert, if you're watching or when you watch this, uh, you should definitely give this recipe a try with your kids. It'd be great to see. I know Laura uh, would probably, well, I would assume, Laura would love to see a picture of you making this with your family. And that goes for anybody, not just... Uh, not just yeah and just remember too it's a healthy healthy recipe you know and if you're looking you know new year's just happened people have that resolution but don't know how or they're afraid to cook this is so super easy. You just saw it. We threw some shallots in, cooked those for like a second, and then we added the rest. All you do is dump the rest of the ingredients. Just dump them in, and that's what's nice and easy. And then you just let it let it boil here, and I'll bring it closer again just to you know recap how easy this is. You're just going to boil it until it gets down to like half as much. And the last step, once it, you know we've got it reduced, you're going to be amazed. Makes you like seem like an amazing chef when it took like it takes like five minutes maybe, but just wait plus wait time. So it takes a little bit of time to reduce it. I mean, so but and prepping it really quick and easy. Um, the cook time really quick, except for the reducing part. But that's really not that hard of a thing to do, and not not really all that bad. Um, and you can, as you mentioned, you can make a big batch of this, or you can make it beforehand and have it all week, so you can put it on. As we're waiting for this to finish up here, uh, and just producing it now, right? We're getting it on It'll be on building it. Facebook page, head over there and like it. Yeah. 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 Right now for winter, sledding is fun. I bought a hill house on a hill just and I can have sledding parties for the kids. And it makes me feel like a kid again. So right now that's like been my go-to thing. I, you know, otherwise I do, I'm pretty crafty. So I'm always doing crafty things, whether it's refinishing furniture, sewing, creating things. That's just what I do. That's awesome. I love it. I grew up out in the country and we had a small hill in our backyard big as a kid, but you know, small helmet looking back. And it was just so much fun to go sledding and just being outside is so much fun. That's one thing that carried with me in my adulthood is I haven't sledded as much lately, but just being outside, kayak fishing and being outside the is a wonderful thing. Yeah, and you're from Wisconsin, which, which I am too. So I left Wisconsin for a few years for warm weather and then my kids never saw snow. And then about a year and a half ago, we moved back up north, and they think it's the greatest thing ever. So that's even more exciting, you know, when you see them experience it for the first time. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Uh, so much fun for, for them to see their fa uh, faces light up and just enjoy the snow. So when will we know it's about 50% done? I mean, it's looking pretty good. Are we waiting to, for it to get runny or like, or I'm sorry, thicker? Or we still want it to be uh, a little um, more watery-ish, you know, more like broth? Be watery. You know, I find the best indication, and I'm gonna get my camera as close as I can, is looking at the lines in your pan. I mean, just keeping it simple here. Okay. So if you see what I started up here is where I started and it's already down by half. Nice. Okay. So I just follow that line to keep it as simple as possible because this is going to stay liquidy. You know, you're not going to make it thick by any means. So this is ready. So you turn it, the heat off and the last step 
And you can do this, like, it doesn't, if you have a little blender, it, you generally use a food processor. Um, I grab my little tiny ninja, like, individual serving cup. Yeah, that's perfect. Just because some people may not have a big food processor or anything, but so you can use any kind of blender. And you're just going to pour it in there, and you're going to add... All you're going to do is add your cilantro, a teaspoon of cilantro to okay. this. And then add your sauce. So go over the sink and pour it in your blender so you don't spill it, <laughs> would be my suggestion. And then just add your cilantro, which I'm going to do that Hold while on. you're getting your blender You want ready. me to pour from a pan into a small cup like that. I have this blender thing that's it's going to be a mess anyway. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I just put my cilantro in and I measured it this way. <laughs> How much cilantro should you put in? You're going to put in a teaspoon of cilantro. Okay. Don't spill. Don't spill. Go fast. The you know, trick is for this, folks, go fast. Don't overthink it. If you overthink it, you're going to spill everywhere. Yeah. No, I know. I'm going to turn you guys towards my sink. Don't overthink. Here. I'm doing this over the floor. If I spill, it's going to be hot. It's going to be a mess. Let's hope I don't have wife <laughs> looking at me. All right. Here's a little tip, though, when you're blending this. Because it's so hot and steamy, when you take your lid off, it's going to have, like, a little vapor in there and just pop. So be prepared to step back when you take your lid back off. <laughs> How long do we blend this thing for? Just for a quick second. A quick second. So let me turn this back. I got a blender in the corner here, and this will be, we'll both be loud together. Oop. We'll go like Mine didn't close all the way. I just pressed the pulse three times. Three more times for good luck. Is that enough? Should I pulse it, or should I sustain it? No, that's all you need to do. I just quick blended it and it's ready. Nice. Okay, well, that worked for me. Perfect. Let me get a plate. So you can pulse it. You can let it let's go on for a little bit. Yep, it's blended. Mine made a mess. I made a mess over here. How'd yours go over there? Um, I did not spill. It's a miracle. I did not spill. Um, and it worked quite well. I pulsed it six times. Um, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to do just a little bit longer. Just, uh, I still see a little onion in there. A little longer. Yeah. That's long enough. All right. So we have our plate. We have oh. the quinoa. We're going to put some delicious looking pecans. Some chicken. So add your pecans to your sauce and it's ready. I forgot the pecans. Don't forget the pecans. <laughs> so we have about three, whoa, where's the camera? Three tea, tablespoons of chopped pecans. The best part of it, you can eat it as you're chopping it. It's so delicious. And we're just going to stir it in here. And then what? You drink it all? You can drink it all. You can, by the time you reduce that in half, your veggies or your chicken should be ready, um, whatever size. And then you just kind of pour it on and you're set, just like you showed awesome. there. Awesome. Well, let's see. I'm holding it at an angle. So this is kind of, actually, I'm not. Here's what I'm going to do. Hold on. I'm going to be smarter than this. It's rare for me. Oh, be <laughs> proud. Okay. Here we go. We'll turn the camera down so I'm not like spilling all over the floor. Okay. Ready? This is Food Network amazingness right here, folks. Look at this. You're just going to be drooling. Oh, the quinoa. Oh, like food porn right there, folks. Doesn't get much better. There you go. I'm going to add my food porn. Look at that. Delicious. How awesome. So you can see me. Check that out. Hold yours up there, Laura. Will you? This has our yes. wonderful picture for the YouTube page. Boom! We got awesome. it! <laughs> Rock. Yeah, right. there. If you really want to count calories... You... Yeah? So, 
if you if you really want to count portions and you're, and you're on a strict plan, you would just use two tablespoons as a serving size for, you know, d three if you're a larger person. Two to three tablespoons is your serving size if you really want to watch your intake. So with a recipe like this, it's super healthy, easy to make, um, takes, you know, very, very little prep time, very little cook time to make. It lasts all week or more for it, so you can have it on different things. But, I mean, as I said, it's healthy, but I imagine it tastes freaking amazing, right? It just explodes in your mouth with flavor, just from the smell. Here, I'll, I'll even eat a little bit. Okay. I'm not prepared. We can get a live reaction from you, because I, you probably haven't had this one before. So this will be the live reaction of what you think this of right. the recipe. Laura is correct. I have not had this recipe. I'm all guessing here about the explosion of flavor in my mouth that's about to happen. We're guessing that that's what's going to happen. So here's what the bite. Whoa, that's a really close. There's a pecan. I I rubbed it the soft all over it. It's going to be gorgeous. Let's find out. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. That. Oh, Isn't it? It's amazing. I didn't even cook it in, like put the chicken in it. I just. Oh my god! I'm talking with my mouth full. It's so good. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't even cook the chicken in it. I just drizzle over the top. Wow. This is an amazing recipe, uh, Laura. Thank you so much for jumping on the show and sharing it with me. I apologize for the technical difficulties, but this was awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for having me, and I'm glad you like it. It was, it's, it's a delicious one. Oh, it's so good. And, you know, I love it. It's super tasty. Obviously, Laura loves it. That's why she shared it with me and with all of you. But um, I would love to see all of you try it. So if you watch this show, whether it's live or not on YouTube, Facebook, whatever, I challenge all of you to make this recipe super easy. Make it with your family. Make it by yourself. Whatever. And take a picture of it. Tag Jones and get fit on it. And if you're friends with Laura, tag Laura. We would love to see what you do. What's that? Agree? You'd love to see people making this recipe? Oh, absolutely. Because it means that they're actually, you know, eating uh, a little bit healthier. Exactly. <laughs> That's what this show is. Show you that it's easy to eat healthy. And it's not hard, complicated meals. Well, I think we're running out of time so far. So, Laura, thank you so much for jumping on. Congratulations on winning the Pledge to Shred Challenge. Um, I'm so happy we can get you on the show and make an, an amazing, delicious, healthy recipe. Thanks. We'll see you working out in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good, Laura. Well, folks, thank you for tuning in, watching another live cooking show um, here on, well, this is on my own page right now, but it'll be on the Jones and Get Fit page. Remember to go after your goals, stay healthy, stay fit, eat healthy, make this, take pictures. We'll catch you all later. All right, folks, have a great night. Bye.